Oh, I want to see what it looks like to make an ion cube. Oh, did we make one? What's going on, everybody's here? Welcome back to some more modded Subnautica. So last episode, we went and we unlocked, finally, finally unlocked the uh where is it at the the bio the ion cube generating device the ion cube generator and the reason that i wanted to unlock that was so that way we could start making some of the uh other things i still don't have a nuclear reactor we might we're probably gonna have to get that eventually because our wind turbines are not like not quite as amazing as ho as I was hoping because they get the the maintenance on those things is oh my gosh the in, the maintenance on those things is it's a little rough but uh this guy right here ion cube generator so we're gonna focus on making that today and oh my gosh I'm so excited hopefully you guys enjoy if you do make sure you leave a like if you're new here don't forget to subscribe as well for support first thing uh I need to grab some wait I should already have some water okay We'll grab that water real quick. Uh, I'm gonna go check out my wind turbines because I'm gonna say that they're probably gonna need some love. Uh, let's see, 50%. Okay, all right, of course. Are they just automatically at 50% when you log in? Because I swear they're always at 50% when I log in. Like I log out, log back, there's like 50%. It's like, what? Okay, so we are good. Uh, let me grab some fruit real quick. Let's get this looking good, looking good. Awesome, all right, now. Before we get into anything, I want to start laying out my base a little bit differently because like what we have right here is kind of what we were just like, what we had to use to start with. But I want to get some other stuff going. Uh, we have that, we have that now. Honestly, I'm thinking we're gonna have a whole bunch of multi-purpose rooms just right next to each other. And that's because we can't have like main big rooms. I really wish they had like the uh, the huge room, the huge rectangular room from Subnautica Below Zero. I think that'd be super cool, but they don't have that. They don't have it. So I am thinking that we get multi-purpose rooms. I don't think I can place one right here, can I? Because this is going to be kind of in the way. I guess we could start right here. And I'm thinking we place a, a bunch of multi-purpose rooms, kind of just like in a grid grid like pattern. So that way we can go from room to room like super easy. You know what I mean? Now I should have a I should have a decent amount of titanium, and I can always go out and get more if I need to. Uh, are you actually gathering titanium? Oh, you are, and you have eight on you. Heck yeah, that's uh, that's at least one multi-purpose room. All right, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna get things laid out, and we're gonna build the basic buildings first, and then we'll go from there. All right, all my titanium is gone, <laughs> but as you can see. I built some rooms. Uh, we got one here. Actually, one. I think it's two on this side. And then we have three wide here. And then we have another three wide right here. So we have a giant network of rooms, which is good because we're going to need a whole bunch of rooms for a whole bunch of different things. So uh, that's fantastic. That's done. However, I'm pretty much completely out of titanium now. And I had to go out and find some. Anyways, that doesn't matter because it's just titanium. Titanium is like one of the easier things to find. So ion cube generator. What do we need for this? Let's go ahead and let's look here. Um, we need infused plasteel. So is that a is that going to be one of these items? OK, infused plasteel. So we need nickel, ion cube and plasteel ingot. So I need <laughs> even more titanium. <laughs> Oh, I need more titanium. Okay. And then I also need the energy condenser, which is titanium, aerogel, diamond, advanced wiring kit. We should have pretty much, pretty much everything except for, I just gotta go get some more titanium again. But we should be good on, on everything else. Uh, let me go ahead and grab a, a bunch of these. I'm gonna start putting stuff into storage. We might also need to expand our storage capabilities as well and i think this might get moved actually this could stay our storage slot it could stay our storage room there's really no reason to not to you know uh you know what let me see if i can make more storage before i I'm, I'm i'm just constantly curious or worried that i'm going to uh accidentally lose stuff but if i make some servers and don't format them then i should be good 
Okay, so I have one server guaranteed 48 slots that's clean, clear, ready to go. So let me go ahead and throw all of this in there. All right, shwing, it's gone. All right, looking good, looking good. Okay, so now, since I expanded storage a little bit, so I need aerogel, diamond and titanium, and an advanced wiring kit. Uh, I should have the stuff for an advanced wiring kit, if I'm not mistaken. I do have the stuff for an advanced wiring kit. Okay, uh, and let's see, I needed one of those for that. Let's go ahead and get, uh, let's get one of those made to start with. So that's good, that's good. We just need the arrow gel. Let me go check on the gel sack outside. Uh, gel sack outside is looking good. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and chop up a couple of these. Let's see, we need one, two. I'm gonna go ahead and chop up these guys so we can get more going. All right, there, that's looking good. Now, uh, we're eventually gonna start the hydroponic farming stuff because that's what's actually required for uh, the purple tablets. And that's why I wanted to get the ion cube generator is to make sure that we had enough purple tablets for everything. Um, but that's what we're going to be working on eventually over there too. So that's super cool. All right. So now do I have the stuff for, okay. So we can get the energy condenser. Uh, I'm going to, have to go out on a titanium hunting spree because that's what I need for the ingots, the infused pastille. Uh, yeah, let me go get some titanium real quick. Uh, let's see, can I throw anything in here? No, I'm just gonna keep that on me. All right, so I have the plasteel ingots. I just gotta turn them into, uh, let's see, let's get a couple more fruits here. I just gotta turn them into the, the fancy infused ingots. And I think we might, we're getting close. We're getting close. I don't know if we're there yet, but we're close. Uh, okay, infused plasteel. I'm hoping I have enough nickel. Uh, infused plasteel, okay. All right, looking good, looking good. So what else do we have? Um, okay, infused plasteel energy generator. We just need glass and lubricant. Are you kidding me? That is like the easiest thing. Uh, let's see, glass. And then we need a lubricant. We can go grab that real quick out here. Oh my gosh, it's happening. Guys, it's happening. It's actually happening. Okay, grab those real quick. Make some lubricant. Now, um, I'm also thinking that what we might do is we might actually make a base down in the uh, the Lost River area where there's the ur uranite and lead because then we could just have, uh, I could put like four nuclear reactors down there, load them up and then have the drill getting uranite lead and then we can make that stuff like free and easy. So I think we're good. Oh my gosh, we're good. Let's do it. Let's go, uh, let's see. I think it should be center room. I think this is a, I think this is a big deal. All right, where are you? Interior pieces, ion cube generator. Oh, it's actually, actually fits kind of wherever. All right, let's put it in here. Is that centered? Right there. Oh my gosh. Oh, here we go. Oh, that thing is cool. What the heck? Completed storage of four ion cube generator overclock off. Hold on, let me turn this. Let me get rid of that. Uh, open storage. So it can hold four. Uh, overclock off min. Let's do min. You know what? Let's crank it up. Let's take it to the limit. Hi. That's the power use setting? Uh, it's drawing more power than we're bringing in. Well, it's drawing about the same power that we're bringing in. Completed 5%, 6%. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Maybe I need like... Oh. Oh, I can see the little teeny tiny... I can see a little teeny tiny thing. I mean, I guess power's keeping up no problem right now. 14%. Oh, this is super cool. You know what? I think we need nuclear power for this. Like it would only make sense, you know, I just got to figure out where the nuclear power stuff is. Okay, so let's uh, let's actually turn this back on minimal. So it's not using a whole bunch of power because by pulling that much power, it's going to be destroying my wind turbines. And I don't really want that. 
Okay, so I have an idea. I have an idea of where this thing might be. Um, let's see, repair tool, laser cutter, scanner. That's all good, that's all good, that's good. Uh, we got some food, let's take some water with us and let's go get the nuclear reactor unlocked. Uh, and then we'll kind of figure out if where I want to do this because we could we could throw it down, like I said, in the uh, the Lost River area, or we could just have it here and then just go get the the stuff as we need it every now and then. Hmm, I don't know. It might it might be better to keep it here so we can keep an eye on it. To be honest. All right, uh, where are we going? I need to go this way ish. We got to go to the the Blood Kelp area, and it's the first one. It's not the second one. This map is super handy. I'm going to tell you that right now. This map is like one of the greatest things ever. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Hey, hello there, blood kelp. All right. So I think the fragments for this guy are around here. They might be in a wreck. I don't know. We're going to look. We're going to see if we can find something. I got the laser cannon at the ready. You know, is this the wreck that's on the floating island thingy? Uh, I don't know. Mm, there looks that looks like one wreckage. Wait a second. Oh, this is taking me into the Lost River. This is totally a Lost River entrance right here. Oh, that's cool. Uh, hold on. Oh, I'm in the Lost River. Holy moly! Yes. Okay. Um, I took a wrong turn here, but this guy's. This is cool nonetheless. <laughs> this is, uh, that's cool, but it's not what I'm looking for. I'm not really looking for that right now. Get out of here, Warper. Don't touch me. Don't touch me! Okay, we got a wreck there. That means there's got to be a wreck, like, nearby. Okay, we got, like, some more pieces here. I'm not seeing... What's this? Could that be a nuclear reactor fragment right there? Maybe? Maybe? Yes, it is! Yes, it is. Okay, uh, one of three, but I feel like we're in the right area. So let's see. Uh, ow. I meant to do that. Not really. Let's see, where's the rest of this uh, wreck at? Oh, oh, there's another piece. Oh, I bet you this is it right here. Nuclear reactor fragment. Yeah, we found it. We found it. And nuclear reactor fragment. Perfect. Okay, cool. I like it. Nice, nice, nice. So, we've got those. Now, uh, what do we need to actually build that? Nuclear reactor. We need plastic ingot, advanced wiring kit, and lead. We should have all of that. We should have all of that. So, let's go ahead. Let's head back to... Actually... What does it take to make a um, a reactor rod? Nuclear fabricator, Cyclops nu nuclear reactor, a specialized fabricator for safe handling of radioactive energy sources. What? Interesting. <gasps> oh, we also need the quantum teleporter. Oh my gosh. Yes, we need the quantum teleporter as well. Okay, let's head back to our base first. Oh. There's a time capsule. Let's go check it out. What's up, time capsule, dude? Uh, to start you off, press tab to view. To start you off, here are the beginnings of the things you'll need. This planet isn't easy to survive on, but I did, and I was able to leave. Good luck and enjoy the planet while you're on it. Nice. And then the well, it was home while it lasted. <gasps> That's super cool. Okay, Nito. This is not in the starting area whatsoever, though. <laughs> but that's super cool. Um, you know, actually, there's a mod for a time capsule scanner. I think that could be fun to see how many time capsules we could find. Uh, oh, hey, there's a wreck here. Oh, uh, I might have already checked this one out. I'm not positive. Okay, let's head back. Base. Base. This. Oh, shoot. I'm right next to my base. Nice. Okay, so what I'm kind of thinking is we have this guy right here. I'm thinking maybe we throw the nuclear reactor underneath of this. Like, put a room underneath, have a ladder going down to, like, a nuclear reactor area room. 
Uh, I like that. I like that. But I'm going to need more titanium because I'm like out, I think. Let me check. Let me check my resources here. It says I have four. That's not enough. Okay. Well, I'm going out on an adventure again. Do I have any more in this guy? Did I put any in here? Oh, I must use it all. All right. Well, out for more titanium. Uh, okay. So I went a little crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm going to do this. Let's go bigger home. So I brought another level down. I was like, okay, nuclear reactor there. But no, why stop there? Why not bring a level down and have a nuclear reactor in four of these? So one, two, three, four. And in the middle, we'll have the server racks from our storage. We'll put those in the middle of the room right there. That'll be like our main storage uh, node right there. And then I started placing down foundations. I think this whole thing is getting kind of weak. Um, I do want to throw in some, oh, ah, oxygen. <laughs> um, I do want to throw in some glass as well. So that's also going to cause like, you know, structural integrity issues. But what I want to do is I actually want to cover the whole bottom of this in those uh, foundations, like pretty much all, ooh. We might move the moon pool as well. This whole base is just going to get redesigned. I'm, I'm just saying it's, got, it's probably going to get redesigned. Anyways, okay. So let's go and grab, let's get a, uh, let's get a nuclear reactor in here. Let's kind of see what we got going on because I think that's going to be super handy. Let me grab, I need this. I need a ladder and, ah, uh, see, I hate that you have to put it like right there, right in the way of like one of these doors. You know what I mean? That's just not cool. Hmm. And I don't think we can put a, uh, I can't, I can't put a cross section in here. I don't like that. I really don't want to put a ladder right there. You know what? I'm actually going to put the ladder right here because it connects to that room anyways. So now if I climb down, okay, see, and then we'll have the centralized room in here, nuclear reactor in here. Okay, cool. I like that. I can deal with that. So nuclear reactor, plastic ingot, advanced wiring kit, uh, and lead. We should have all of those. Uh, maybe, maybe. You know what? I don't have lithium. I don't have lithium on my base. I was like, oh, I have plenty of lithium. Lithium. I have 30. Uh, that's apparently not here. So I'm going to go grab lithium because I don't actually physically have it on me right now. Where is the lithium? Is it at drill two? Ooh, I don't know. Maybe. Let's go check it out. I am also curious though, if I put one of these network deals on this guy, if it'll connect this or that X storage depot, if it would connect that, I don't know. Let's go check out drill two. I think it's drill two that has lithium. Do you have lithium? Okay, has, they have got 20. I'm gonna take all of it because I'm probably gonna need all of it. Oh, all but one. That's fine, that's fine. And then we also got to get uh, some uranite so we can get some nuclear reactor stuff going so we can actually power. Uh, I'm thinking we're going to go with nuclear reactor power instead of wind power. And the only reason is because <laughs> the maintenance on those wind turbines. I could turn the maintenance off and I probably will just use this as like supplementary power uh, to help with nuclear reactors. So the nuclear reactors aren't drawn so much. So I'll probably turn the maintenance off if I can. Wouldn't you believe it? I'm out of table coral. My gosh. Out to grab that again. You know, I gotta say, thank goodness that one table coral piece actually gives us like three or four pieces of table coral. I don't know why they, ch I don't know why they changed that in, uh, in below zero. I don't, I don't know why that's different, but it is. And it's, it's kind of annoying. <laughs> All right. What else do I need? I think I have nuclear reactor. I do. I have everything. Okay. We can build one. We can at least build one and get one of them online running, going, doing its thing. Uh, I don't actually know how much power those generate. I can't remember off the top of my head. So let's go ahead and get this guy. Um, face it this way. And we need to make nuclear reactor rods. I'm actually kind of curious about the... Yeah, I'm actually curious about this nuclear reactor fabricator. Titanium and computer chip. Let's build one of those and we'll throw it down here. And uh, we'll use that, I guess, to maybe make the nuclear reactor stuff. Okay, so let's throw that. Let's throw it right here, maybe. 
I'm hoping that it's it's compatible with the uh, the easy craft because I really don't want to have to go out and grab the stuff manually. Reactor rod, lead, titanium, glass, uranite crystal. It almost doesn't look like it's compatible because I have uranite crystal in storage over here. Let's see. Let's see if we can build a reactor rod through this fabricator. Advanced materials. Electronics. Reactor rod. No, uranite crystal and glass. How am I missing uranite crystal? Did I never bring any back? Oh, I never brought any back. I can't even believe that. Okay, so I need to go grab uh, some uranite crystals. I thought I brought some back, but apparently I did not. Uh, and it looks like one nuclear reactor is capable of, we were at 3000 before, now we're at 5,500. So one nuclear reactor is 2,500 power. That is fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. Uh, okay, let's go grab some uranite crystals. This is where it would be nice to have a, um, a quantum teleporter. But we'll do that in the, probably in the next episode. We'll probably do that next episode. All right, let's see. We should have uranite crystal in here. Nope. No. <laughs> what? I don't have uranite crystal being gathered here. Come on. Uh, yeah, I need uranite crystal to be gathered here. Darn it. Okay, we're going to have to gather it by hand. <sighs> All right, that's fine. I thought we had... I grabbed some at one point and I put it somewhere. I just don't... Maybe it's in the other storage thing? Hmm. I don't know. I'll just grab some while I'm down here, though. You know, I do have a handy-dandy laser tool that would, uh... That would probably cut through this, no problem. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. That thing is amazing. I'm just saying. This... That laser pistol is so much more useful than I even realized. And I'm regretting not using it more. Okay, how many do I have? All right, we got we got plenty. We got plenty for now. That'll work. That'll get our base uh, even more power. And let's see. I think we're good. Let's head. Uh, let's head back. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, let's do it. Let's make some reactor rods. Uh, we're gonna use this. I think this should work. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and make. I want to make four. Maybe. Hopefully, I can make four. Now, I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and turn on the. Um, the sand collection for one of these because we're gonna need a bunch of quartz because i have uh i want to do some glass stuff uh we are drawing a lot of power oh you know why wind turbines are probably down uh okay i only made three that's fine one two three perfect active uh we might actually need more power i think we're gonna need more power because I really want this thing to be like cranking these things out. Uh, let's turn this on. Uh, let's turn this on max. Oh my gosh. Look at the power just drop. It's just sucking it down. <laughs> oh, I want to see what it looks like to make an ion cube. Oh, did we make one? <gasps> ion cube was made. We made an ion cube. It's going to go in there. It's going to go into storage. Boom. Oh, we've made two. <gasps> Guys, we've done it. We have done the things. We are making our own ion cubes. Now, the reason for that, like I said, is because of where are the hydroponic rooms? The hydroponic things required tablets um let's see mini fountain teleporter advanced quantum teleporter kits uh those don't actually require any that's what the heck that's super weird that those don't require anything deep driller large har hydroponic harvester so those require purple tablets which require the uh the ion cubes and then we also have there's like a uh, small medium large all of them requiring purple tablets synthetic fibers where am I not making? How am I not making synthetic fibers yet? Okay, we're going to go ahead and turn this down to uh, low power consumption. <laughs> Give our base a chance to catch up. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. I'm so excited about this. That is going to end this episode. Hopefully you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. I do appreciate all the support. Uh, next episode, 
I think what we're gonna do is maybe get more nuclear reactors going, or we might do some base building, or we might get some harvesters online. Um, I have an idea of kind of, of kind of how I want to uh, to lay this base out, but like I said, I'm gonna want uh, a bunch of glass, and uh, yeah, it's it's just gonna be cool. I'm really excited about this part. It's probably gonna eventually get, uh, it's probably gonna eventually get detached from this stuff. And this is going to be like the main hub. And we're probably going to move the moon pool to uh, a different area as well. Because this is just not an ideal spot. Because I want to be able to put these foundations pretty much down everywhere right here. But um, yes, thank you again for coming out. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And I will see you in the next one.